welcome to my video series, The Fundamentals of Singing. I'm vocal instructor Elizabeth Prince. Today, I will address proper breathing for singing. So knowing how to properly breathe means knowing which muscles are involved in the breathing process for a singer. Well, the diaphragm for one, and the abdominal muscles for two. So the diaphragm is a thin dome-shaped muscle that's located at the bottom of your rib cage. Its entire function is breathing. As it moves down and out, it creates a vacuum to pull the air into your lungs. And as it comes in and pushes up, it pushes the air out of your lungs. All day long it's working for you so you can breathe. You don't even have to think about it. Ever had a case of the hiccups? That's your diaphragm twitching. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Anyways. Since the diaphragm is a thin muscle, not a really big chunk of muscle, just a really thin muscle at the bottom of your rib cage, we get the abdominal muscles involved to help support it. Your abs are strong, even if you don't work them out. You still use them every day to keep yourself upright. So we use your core to help the breathing process and to help with singing. So how do you take a good breath for singing? Well, I'll show you. When you take a breath in, you want to expand your rib cage out and your belly should move forward. Not a lot, but a little. So a good inhalation, a good breath in, you're going to go. An exhalation, you'll get smaller. The abs will come in. I'll show you a front view so you can see how my rib cage ex expands out to the sides. Breath in, breath out. Let me do that again. Why don't you do it with me? Breathe in and breathe out. It's good to pretend like you're filling up your belly with air when you take that breath in. That visualization helps to get the body to expand outwards, to get the belly to expand outwards. And as you're exhaling, make sure that that belly comes in to help support, in and up to help support the diaphragm. Now notice when I take a breath in, everything is expanding outwards, whether it be forward and out to the side, it's expanding outwards, not upwards. Taking a shoulder breath is not a good breath. You've got to position your rib cage nice and solid. Don't slouch and don't be too stern. But position it in a nice, relaxed, upright place and keep it there. Don't let it move tremendously. Don't let your shoulders come up to your ears. Also, another tip, try not to get too full when you take in a breath. And what I mean by that is if you take in so much air that you're full all the way to the tippity tippity top, the first thing that's gonna happen in that very first note that you go to sing is you're gonna release out too much breath. You're not going to have control of your breath. So you wanna go about 95% of the way. Don't go 100%, go about 95. If you would like to get some practice with this type of breathing, I have an 11 count exhale exercise that you can use to start training. So in the first time that you do it, just start with breathing. And in the next part, add pitch. What I mean by that is, you know, the first time you're just focusing on the movement of the abs. And the next time when the abs are coming in, make a sound, vocalize. Ah. So, Go ahead and visit my vocal warm-up section and try it. Want more information on the fundamentals of singing? Be sure to subscribe to my channel to get the latest video in this series, vocal warm-ups, and much more. And if you like this video or any of my other videos, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Thanks for watching. I'm Elizabeth Prince.